What is up everybody? Welcome back to a video. Hope y'all are having an amazing day as usual. If you are new, please make sure to like, subscribe, and always comment down below. It really, really helps out with the videos. Y'all, it is a beautiful day out here in Newark, New Jersey. It's Wednesday, um, but I will post this on Thursday. So I want to wish you a happy Wednesday and a happy Thursday. Matter of fact, I want to wish you a happy and prosperous week as a whole. Uh, I'm currently in Branchbrook Park. I'm going to go around for a walk today. Um, it's about 65 degrees, I think. It's really nice, actually. Uh, then I'll probably go to downtown. I'll take the light rail. Uh, we'll walk along this side of the park over here. And uh, we'll go to the top of the park. We'll go to the uh, light rail station up there. And then we'll take it uh, to wherever. Maybe I'll go to ShopRite. I don't know. Um, anyways... sun's pretty bright today huh Branchbrook Park is the cherry blossom capital of the world and as such you can see some of the cherry trees are uh starting to come out, um starting to blossom I think that's beautiful uh it's a sign that winter is almost over I hate the cold I want spring to start the only problem is during spring is I get bad allergies but um other than that I love the warm weather so I can't complain Y'all, I am definitely going to get something to eat today. I'm in the mood for some Jamaican food. Um, isn't that weird? I never really crave Jamaican food, but a nice beef patty or something would be really good. Um, in this part of Newark, there really aren't too many Jamaican restaurants. Uh, there's a lot of Dominican, Puerto Rican, whatnot, but I really would love some good jerk chicken or maybe some oxtails for the bomba clots. those cops are going i don't know they're probably you know what if there were that many cops they might have been responding to a shooting i don't know shootings are pretty common here in newark but um I, not in this part of newark this is pretty much the safest part of the city but then again anything can happen anywhere so who knows uh look at these beautiful houses this is the forest hill section in newark a lot of really nice houses in this neighborhood Actually, the first house in Newark sold for a million dollars last summer, and I believe it was in this neighborhood. Um, that's the signs that Newark, are cha Newark is changing, maybe for the better, you know? Newark's a great city. Um, just people don't really see it. And I think, you know, yes, there are some bad parts in Newark, but there are also some great parts of the city. And I don't really go to the bad parts, so anytime I come up to North Newark or, you know, downtown, I, I usually have a good time. Although Market Street's kind of a dump. But other than that, downtown Newark's pretty pretty nice. If you go to Ironbound, you'll have a great time. I love the food over there. Uh, but anyways, um, there really aren't a lot of Jamaican restaurants in the area. So there's a place called Caribbean Station, but I think it's a Dominican restaurant. Um, so, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I might just get some Dominican food today. Or I don't want to eat fast food. Um, not today. I had Wendy's last week. Um, I ate fast food like three times when I was in Virginia. Eating that much fast food is really not good for you. So I'll probably eat something else. So right there is Chris Red Hots, which is a pretty iconic hot dog truck in the park. And the guy who owns it just opened up a location in Verona on Bloomfield Avenue. So you can check him out there as well. I followed him on TikTok for a while. I've been to the hot dog truck a few times. I prefer Tony's, um, but Chris Red Hot is still pretty good. They have a very interesting selection of hot dogs. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over to the Caribbean Station restaurant. Maybe get some plantanos, um, some pollo, some cutifritos. Cuchi fritos are like uh, tapas, but I think that's Puerto Rican, not Dominican. I don't know. I was hoping to get some Jamaican food, 
I don't know, maybe they'll have some jerk chicken or some oxtails there, who knows. Uh, gotta wait to cross the street over here. Uh, as you can see, some more cherry trees. Here's the festival. So go whenever you want. But it looks like it's all happening in April. Although, as you can see, there are quite a few cherry trees. Anyways, um, maybe they got bacalao. Bacalao is actually kind of nasty. Bacalao is uh, Spanish for uh, codfish. But the way they cook, I like cod, but the way they cook it is gross. Right here on my left, well, this is the light rail station. I'll probably be taking that soon. But over here is an abandoned Spanish restaurant. It was called the Spanish Manor. It had Portuguese, Spanish, and American cuisine, according to the sign. Man, I've been seeing a lot of mopeds today. <laughs> hey, I'm here. It is a Dominican restaurant, apparently. So let's see if there's any Dominican food I can get. Let's see the prices. So I only have 20 bucks on me, so I don't want to be spending a lot, you know? Y'all, I am so disappointed. The one thing I wanted in there, they didn't have. And that was some chicharron, which is crispy pork. So, unfortunately, <laughs> I'll have to find somewhere else to eat. The prices weren't bad. Everything was under $20, so I could have got something to eat. They had something called chuleta, which I think is steak. I'm not too sure, though. Um, oh, yeah, Dominican food is not all that, to me, at least. I don't love Jamaican food. I mean, I don't love Dominican food. Um, Jamaican food is delicious, but... Dominican food isn't that good in my opinion. So I'm going to explore this abandoned Spanish restaurant. Um, wow, they still have a sign up. Um, maybe I'll run into somebody back here. Who knows? Hopefully not. I don't know who lives there. Maybe it was the owners of the restaurant. I'm not sure why this restaurant went out of business. And I don't know how long ago it went out of business, but it looked like somebody lived upstairs. So that was probably where the owners lived. It looks like a beautiful building. There's also an abandoned train station right here. Oh, well, it looks like there's an RV camper back here. So it's probably a homeless person in there. Right here. Somebody, man, somebody stripped up a car. And this right here is an abandoned uh, light rail station. Yeah, somebody for sure lives back here. I'm gonna still walk around and see what I can find. Oh, one of the lights is still on. It has this like stained glass. But, uh, can y'all see inside? Pretty much just the entrance. I don't know who or what is in that van, but that creeps me out a little bit. Yeah, there's really not much back here. Maybe there's a way into the restroom, but I'm not sure. Oh, this is somebody's house right here. <laughs> Oh, somebody is right there. So I better get out of here. <laughs> I saw some dude back there. So I missed the train. It's all right. I'll just have to wait for another one. Usually trains come every five minutes. So there will be another one shortly. Man, I wasn't hungry like 30 minutes ago. Now I'm starving. So I got to find something to eat. Five minutes. I'm on a train. So there goes the train operator. I don't know what he's doing. Hopefully, I won't have to wait too long. It's really hot in here. I don't know why they have the heat on. Hey, I'm at the Washington Street Station. Um, we're in downtown Newark now. We're underground. We're about to go above ground. So. I found a Jamaican restaurant. Um, it looks like the prices are pretty reasonable as well. I want to get some jerk chicken, beef patty, um, plantanos, 
well, plantains, clantanos, tomato, tomato. But yeah, I'm that hungry. Like I'm ready to eat. <laughs> um, oh, and I love that Jamaican soda, like the Jamaican cream soda. Oh my God, it's to die for. So the restaurant is on Halsey Street. Oh, man, I cannot wait to eat. <laughs> My 200 pound self is very hungry right now. <laughs> so it's on Halsey Street and Bank Street. Look at how narrow this street is. There it is. Ooh, we gotta run real quick. Asian Caribbean taste. So that's actually a Guyanese flag, but they have Jamaican stuff on the menu. So this is the jerk chicken. I got it with rice and cabbage, beef patty, and some soda. Can't wait to eat this. All right, so that food was good. Um, the jerk chicken was spicy, but that's to be expected when you eat Jamaican food. Anyways, what's funny is the dude in there definitely was not Jamaican. He was definitely Guyanese. Chinese people kind of look like Indians a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, I'm probably gonna walk through downtown for a bit um, and then head on the train to go home. So we're right in front of the Prudential building. Not the Prudential Center, the Prudential building. There's a difference. Um, I'm probably gonna head into 7-Eleven to get something to drink because I am thirsty. Okay, we are on Broad and Market Street right now. <clears throat> this area is very abandoned. There's, there's a lot of retail stores, but about half of them are boarded up now. Um, as you can see though, it's still very busy over here. Um, yeah, it's very busy, but unfortunately, unfortunately there's a lot of uh, empty storefronts here. It's unfortunate. I don't know if it's Amazon or COVID. I don't know what happened, but a lot of the retail stores here are gone. It's like a mini 125th in Lexington. I am right in front of the other Prudential building and right across the street is Military Park. This is a pretty up and coming part of Newark right here. Uh, looks like something's gonna come in there. There's a cold zone here. I didn't even know this cold zone was here. And there's a Whole Foods. You know when there's a Whole Foods, and luxury apartments opening up. You know the neighborhood's changing, right? <laughs> I mean, it's not really a joke because it definitely is happening. Um, but yeah, I'm a few blocks from the station. The train comes at 5.10. So I'll take that one. <laughs> 